so we um, celebrate the nativity or the birth of uh, John the Baptist and um, what can we uh, reflect uh, about uh, John the Baptist and uh, uh, what uh, is or her are his messages for us well uh, dear brothers and sisters um, John the Baptist was a prophet um, well alam niyo when I uh, mentioned that uh, John the Baptist was a prophet I hindi ba siya manghuhula father sabi ay hindi po ibang klase ng propeta ito sabi, sabi kasi ang pagkaalam natin yung manghuhula ay yung bang fortune teller um, at uh, ewan ko kung naniniwala po kayo sa fortune teller um, sinabi ko nga na kayo ay manghuhula ay siguro dahil uh, manghuhula kayo ay siguro nahuhulaan ninyo yung numero sa loto sabi ko di kayo mayaman pero mukhang hindi yata ako yung mayaman sabi ko ay medyo inirapan ako ng babae sabi niya hindi kami materialistic sabi niya hindi kami nagkahangad ng maging milyonaryo no? well uh, uh, I don't know really but uh, the truth about Saint uh, Jude I rather Saint uh, John the Baptist was that he was a prophet now a prophet is somebody who uh, uh, criticizes society or pe people <coughs> about uh, the wrong the lawless the wrongdoings that people in society are doing so uh, in other words uh, John the Baptist was a moralist. He was a preacher, a critic against uh, the wrongs that are being done in society, whether ordinary people or even uh, uh, higher ups or uh, even kings like King Herod. And so uh, we all know that. Uh, um, John the Baptist uh, well criticized a lot of things but he also uh, also uh, told people to do good that those who are hungry you have to feed those who have two tunics uh, should give uh, one to the poor so uh, all of this but well we have known that uh, uh, Saint John uh, was uh, really a victim of this being a critic why what did he do well he told uh, John uh, the uh, Herod King Herod he told him it's not lawful for you to take your brother's wife to your own house so in other words what you are doing is adultery and that woman Herodias is even the wife of your brother so he was very uh, courageous in calling the attention of uh, the king and the woman Herodias at alam natin ang nangyari dito dahil nga dito sa kanyang um, uh, uh, attack or a criticism against uh, the uh, king and Herodias well he paid uh, for his courageous uh, criticism by what well we know already that uh, he was imprisoned and uh, he was uh, uh, beheaded so my dear brothers and sisters, dito natin makikita 
ang katapangan ni San Juan Bautista. And so, he's a real prophet because he stuck to his moral convictions and he was open in telling people the evil that they are doing. Well, of course, it's not uh, easy as I told you because look what happened when he finally told uh, King uh, Herod that what you have done is not right. At uh, alam natin naman mga kapatid, um, for example, if there are some, let's say, government officials who are doing certain anomalies or uh, uh, they're malversing uh, funds or they are bribing, you know, an accepted uh, accept bride. Well, um, if uh, you call their attention, well, for example, somebody, an officer in a certain uh, agency, they report yung uh, mga uh, employees and officials even, and they were uh, investigated, and finally they were uh, found to be guilty and uh, they were removed from their positions. Pero alam po ninyo, yung babaeng nagsabi nito ay um, she had to transfer to another uh, another office or agency because she was afraid for her life. So it's not easy really. I remember also, you know, <clears throat> there was a certain Balikbayan who came from the U.S. She came to the Philippines. At alam ninyo, dala-dala niya yung kanyang uh, uh, cute na cute na aso. No? E ngayon, dahil masyadong mainit dito sa Pilipinas, ay kawawang aso. Siya po ay na-dehydrate at namatay. Ngayon, dahil pinakamamahal niya yung aso niya, pumunta doon sa uh, parish at um, kinausap yung parish priest. Father, sabi niya, pwede bang uh, imisahan namin, natin itong aso ko? Kasi pinakamamahal ko ito. Um, at sabi nung pare, ano? E may misahan ang hayop na yan, yung aso? Ay... Bawal yan, labag yan sa uh, otos ng uh, simbahan, uh, sa uh, church law, sabi niya. It's against the uh, uh, law of the church. So, hindi pwede. Eh, sabi nung balikbayan, kasi father, sabi niya, mahal na mahal ko yung asong ito. Pero kung ayaw po ninyo, ay pupunta ako doon sa protestanteng simbahan na lang. At alam niyo, Father, naglaan pa naman ako ng uh, 1,000 US dollars para sa kanyang misa at para sa kanyang uh, uh, paglilibing. So, umalis, umalis na yung uh, balikbayan na babae. Eh, nung narinig yung 1,000 dollars, abay, malaking pera yon no? Kaya alam niyo po, yung pare hinabol yung uh, ali. Sabi niya, Ma'am, balik ka dito. Bakit pupunta ka sa protestante ang simbahan? Eh, yung aso mo, katoliko, bumalik ka dito at imimisahan ko siya. Eh, kasi ho, dahil doon sa $1,000, ano? Well, hindi po ako yung paring yun, ano? Pero, anyway, um, <clears throat> that story tells us that really sometimes it's very difficult to resist the temptation to do something that is not right. Like that priest who said, uh, well, it's against the law of the church. Pero when it comes already to maybe uh, uh, an amount or a love offering that is big, you know, then makakalimutan na po ang utos, <coughs> ang kumand ng simbahan. So uh, indeed, my dear brothers and sisters, there are many ways that are very... Uh, uh, ways by which we can fall into temptation. 
um, for example, in some agencies of the government, there are, uh, you know, under the table deals, under the table, bribery, then uh, yung iba naman, lantaran, over the table, at yung pinakamasahol, including the table. No? So, yun po ang mga iba't ibang paraan. So, uh, well, we should really indeed uh, uh, be careful that we follow what is the law. Otherwise, kung nakakalusot po yung mga tao, mga uh, pinono ng uh, gobyerno at gumagawa ng mga uh, panonohol at uh, pagkukurakot, uh, ay papaano na mangyari ang ating bansa? There will be lawlessness, walang respect for the law. There will be uh, uh, anarchy, disorder in society, in our government. At hindi rin tayo umuusad sa ating economic uh, uh, condition dahil binobulsa o kinukurakot ang kaban ng bayan. So, that's why St. John the Baptist uh, said this because if uh, he allows uh, Herod, uh, even a king, of his act of adultery, and then others will also do it. And they say, pwede pala. Or uh, if we do not do this also, then it becomes already a habit uh, what they are doing that is wrong or against the law. Kaya nga, the only, somebody said, the only way by which evil men can prosper in society is for the good to do nothing. So, uh, my dear brothers and sisters, let us remember this. To resist the temptation against doing evil, but we should do good. And so today, let us pray to Saint uh, John the Baptist to strengthen us to be strong, to do what is right, and to avoid what is evil. Amen. <laughs>